This is my part two video of the work that I did today. Uh, so I wanted to show you my polymer clay work here. So you can see um, these tiny little cups that I've crafted um, to take the place of the little tubes that they provided to be cups that I wasn't really pleased with uh, in a previous video. They're just little plastic tubes. Mine are a little tall, so I don't really think they look like cups. So I handmade some out of clay here. These are not fired, that's why I'm not picking them up. I, I need to fire this dish sometime soon. Uh, the straws will be a part of this little uh, drink design that I'm working on. So I have a little cup made of resin that I made, casted, and uh, I will assemble that into a kind of tapioca drink, bubble tea, uh, using a straw and uh, top uh, at some point, but um, stay tuned for when that happens. I made this little plate to match the cups that I may make a food, uh, for example, rice crackers or something to go on top of it, um, instead of this design. So this was a paper sushi rolls. I didn't really like how it turned out. If I can get this thing to focus, there we go. So I wanted to replace that. And so I'll use this plate and maybe make my own food at some point. Um, these beads are going to replace these uh, bold yellow ones that were provided. I didn't really like the, the strong yellow colors. Uh, so I did some various texture looking beads. For example, this has some silver and pink in it. Maybe. You can kind of see. <laughs> and this one is um, like a teal and silver and various other ones. I think this one's upside down. There we go. So the top looks better than the bottom. <laughs> and this is a, just a donut for a different project. Ignore this one. Uh, but this is the clay ones that I was making for the table decorations and such. Um, I painted some of the vases. Vases meaning the beads that will be vases in the design. So this was a plain wood and I painted one side. So if I don't like how it looks, I will switch it back to the wood. Uh, you can see that in the manual. Um, this one. There it is. So the flowers will be pink here, so I painted pink flowers as well. Uh, and I painted a design on these vases. So I painted them gold. Originally they were yellow. I'm not a big fan of yellow. I don't know why. I think um, I just don't like citrus flavor, so it influenced my taste. So. Uh, here I painted a kind of stick design as like a tree branch and some little dots for flowers like cherry blossom branch there And I painted it on both of these the backs are left plain So if I decide I don't like them, I can switch them back around So I changed those up a little adding some of my personal touch. I also changed this bead it was just yellow and I wanted something different. So I painted it pink with some teal color on it because it's going to be near this fan on a shelf in the final piece. So I kind of wanted to tie those together and I might use that teal bead that I made as well. So those shelves I will show you in the manual. So here's the, the red one that is gonna be near this uh, Go board. Go is a kind of board game. In Japan, that's kind of popular. Um, and let's see. Oh, this design is uh, where the pink bead that I made is going to be, as well as maybe um, one of the other ones I made down here. So probably the teal one to tie with the fan. We will see. And lastly, uh, this design will be the uh, the other one with the branch that I painted. I think. The dark will go together with the bead and the fan here. Uh, but that's all I have for you today. Um, I'm still working on uh, various pieces and I will continue to do so in the future. Um, I will keep you updated so keep following my journey and uh, like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. Um, I'm always willing to talk about Japan. Uh, and thank you all for watching this video. Bye-bye.